Sea Cloud. Its name is legend. Its presence on the water, a dazzling sight. To sail on this 316-foot steel-hulled windjammer is an experience like no other. Sea Cloud is the ship that defined the golden age of yachting. Today, it manifests maritime grandeur once more. At the time of its launch in 1931, it was the largest private yacht in the world and the vision of one extraordinary woman, Marjorie Merriweather Post. Socialite, philanthropist, and heiress to the vast General Foods fortune. Commissioned by Marjorie's husband, the Wall Street tycoon E.F. Hutton, it drew on the expertise of the Germania shipyard of Kiel to propel sailing into a modern era of opulence, aided by the talents of American marine architect William Francis Gibbs. Launched with four masts and 30 elegant cabins, its owner's suites finished with marble baths and gold swan-like faucets, its silhouette a symphony of streamlined stern, clipper bow, and a chandelier of 30 sails. Sea Cloud brought elegance and cocktail hour to the high seas. Following her separation from Hutton, Marjorie remarried in 1935 to the U.S. Ambassador to Moscow, Joseph E. Davies. Sea Cloud subsequently hosted royalty, diplomats, and politicians while moored in the icy waters of Leningrad. Over the decades, its guests have included heads of state and cultural figures from Queen Elizabeth of Belgium and the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, to Walter Cronkite and James Michener, author of the Tales of the South Pacific, who wrote at his cabin desk. As an observation vessel during the Second World War, it patrolled the shores of Newfoundland and dispatched meteorological reports from the Azores and Greenland, in the process becoming the first racially integrated ship in the U.S. Navy. Brass chevrons fixed at the front of the bridge mark its years of proud active service. After the war, Marjorie sold the Sea Cloud to the notorious Dominican dictator Rafael Trujillo, and a tumultuous period saw it turned into a pleasure palace for his hedonistic son, Ramphis. The ship languished for nearly a decade before it was purchased by a German sea captain who restored it to its former glory. For its 58 guests, Sea Cloud is a haven surrounded by the theater of a ship being crewed by an enthusiastic cast of 60 sailors. It is a privilege to observe these maestros as they climb rigging, raise sails, and master currents. The days can pan out like the horizon as passengers relax on the Lido deck, dine on local cuisine, stroll the teak promenade, Zodiac cruise among secluded islands and lunch in hidden beaches. Guests can discover the navigator's craft on the bridge, scan distant coastlines from the foredeck, or watch the world disappear in their wake. Sea Cloud captivates guests no matter the season, from summers in the Mediterranean, sailing along the dazzling Amalfi Coast and through the ancient splendor of the Greek islands, to winters in the sun-soaked keys of the Caribbean, Wherever the destination, new passengers and old friends return to a ship that is a home at sea to make and savor memories, unique present-day echoes of the glamorous golden age of yachting as envisioned by Marjorie Merriweather Post nearly a century ago.